just as a disclaimer before I start this video, I will be talking about eating disorders within this video and mental health. So if you do find that that is a triggering topic for you, please click off this video. Um, I know that you're strong enough to do that, even if you feel tempted to quarantine you watching, but I highly recommend you do click off. I will link some um, good links of some videos that can help or possibly some uh, websites that can help um, and phone lines and things like that below uh, if you are needing help on those subjects. But otherwise, let's get on with the video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to talk about my story. Um, I will be talking about some quite sad topics in this video, um, but I don't want this to be negative at all. Um, I'm in a very good place now, um, I'm happy, I'm healthy, and without my experiences in the past, I wouldn't be where I am. Um, and I don't want to come at it from that angle either, I'm just talking about my experiences purely to give you a bit of context as to why I do the things I do, or the way I perceive fitness, or the reasons why I'm even into fitness in the first place. Um, I just thought it would be a good thing to share my story and also quite a positive thing, especially if there are people that uh, want, could possibly learn from my experiences um, and the potential of that helping someone as well. Um, so let's get on with my story. So where do I begin? I started the Institute when I was 13 years old and I went with the intent of losing weight. I think a lot of females go to the gym for that reason and it's normally the motivating factor is changing your body in some way for men and women as well. Uh, but personally for me, I wanted to lose some weight. Um, I had gained a lot of weight through the end of primary school. Um, I think it's more when you hit puberty and that sort of age, your body starts to change. I wasn't very comfortable and I also just wanted to feel a bit healthier, I felt very unhealthy. When my parents broke up I did start to eat a bit less healthy and been brought up on a kind of whole food organic uh, diet that kind of um, changed my diet in a big way and the way my body responded was by gaining weight, it's only natural. Um, and I think that was one thing about weight gain is that we don't accept that that's a natural thing. Our weight fluctuates throughout our entire lives um, and if you want to change that, that's absolutely fine but do it in a healthy way. So I started going to the gym once a day, um, it was something called the Movement Project, obviously I was only 13, yeah I was 13, I was 13, I'd just gone vegan as well, only set times that I could go and it was after school, so I would go to school, finish school, go to the gym, finish the gym, go home. Now I hadn't done any research on exercise before this, I was just going enjoying myself. I started doing cardio because I wanted to lose weight and that's what I told myself I would lose weight by doing. Just do all the equipment that they had, 15 minutes on each piece of equipment and go home. That was what I started doing. Not too bad, I'd be in there for roughly an hour to an hour and a half and I'd go home. Then I discovered the swimming pool. First started adding in the swimming pool. At the same time I'd started restricting what I was eating slowly. I can't really remember when about it would have started happening. I would start restricting what I was eating to also try and lose weight. You have to eat in a calorie surplus to gain weight and a calorie, calorie deficit to lose weight. True facts, but to the extent I was doing it is not healthy. And I recommend getting someone that's trained in nutrition if that's something you want to do. And not the same thing works for everyone. Um, so if someone else is eating in a huge calorie deficit and you'll see them lose weight, it might work for you. I ate in a huge calorie deficit and I didn't lose weight. I actually gained weight and that's because of the starvation mode my body was in. It was holding on to absolutely anything that I would eat. So, I started upping my exercise. I just discovered the swimming pool so I started adding on swimming as well and I like to have goals with everything I did so I had to do all the equipment in the gym and I had to do 100 laps in one hour in the swimming pool. I pushed myself on the cardio equipment really hard and then I pushed myself in the swimming pool really hard. It was quite high intensity work. I was doing high intensity cardio for extended periods of time. So I'd probably be doing cardio, I would say, roughly for two and a half hours at this point. So I was doing all this cardio and I started to slowly increase it. I couldn't really notice I was increasing it and my diet also, I was restricting more and more and more. So we were getting this kind of unbalance. If you're exercising, you have to fuel that exercise for you to benefit from it. Otherwise it's pointless exercise basically, or you're going to damage your body. It's gonna be one or the other. And I ended up actually forcing myself to go to the gym for the full amount of time that I had access to it. So I think the gym was open for my age group, four till seven. I would want to believe. So I would go four to seven. I would stay in the gym and obviously cardio equipment's quite boring. 
So I also discovered weights and I would start using a fixed resistance equipment. Now the gym I would use was very small, there wasn't many, much equipment, but I did discover weights at that point and I had been doing a few here and there. Again, not really doing much um, research and I was also more focused on the cardio equipment and the weight equipment. I just enjoyed using the weight equipment. And at this point, we've done three hours in the gym, one hour in the swimming pool, and then I would walk home and that's five hours of exercise a day. Um, and this is where I kind of developed obsessive compulsive exercise disorder. I was also going seven days a week. I didn't understand rest. I didn't know anything about exercise and rest. So I was just constantly pummeling myself and constantly pushing myself. And when I would get tired, it's because I would say I was lazy. And obviously that's not correct at all. So I was doing five hours of exercise a day and I was also only eating in the evenings. I would restrict all day and then I would just eat in the evenings. I kind of developed an eating disorder at this time. I did go to eating disorder charities, although I've never actually been diagnosed with an eating disorder. I have been in contact with a lot of charities, got treatment for an eating disorder. So I would say I did have one, although again, I had no diagnosis, so I can't really say that. The sort of symptoms that I experienced were bulimia um, and binge eating disorder. So basically I would restrict and then I'd binge and then I'd restrict and then I would binge. And a binge is just over consumption of food. So when I would binge, my body would hold on to all that weight. Um, so I would never saw results from anything that I was doing to myself. Although I had originally gone in with healthy intentions, that's not what I ended up doing. So when I was accessing treatment for my eating disorder finally, I think I was around the age of 16. So this has been quite a long, period of time that I've been doing this to myself. My obsessive compulsive exercise disorder was the last thing that we tackled and with that I basically went cold turkey and just stopped going to the gym completely and I spent a year and a half actually just focusing on socialising, doing something positive for myself because I really struggled with socialising people because I'd spent my entire time just focusing on me and eating and exercise, that's all I did. So after that year and a half of just focusing on myself, I decided I want to go back to the gym, which is the gym I'm at now. And now when I went back to that gym, again, I had healthy intentions, I thought I'd recovered. Um, something I learned is you're never fully recovered, not in a negative way, just you're always going to have these feelings and these thoughts, you just have to learn how to live with them. So I went back to the gym and things just progressively increased and I started doing five hours of exercise a day again. And this time someone noticed, and this is where I started to lift weights. I basically got a PT, learned how to lift weights, and started weightlifting. And I always say, weight saved my life. So for some reason I've seemed to have lost the final clip in this video. So I'll just talk about it now quickly and just round, kind of round up this entire video. Um, but basically when I found weights, I started striving to be stronger rather than skinnier, which is why a lot of times on my Instagram you'll see me post uh, strong not skinny. And that's not to um, kind of attack skinny people in any way, any shape or size you are, that's absolutely fine. But when you're aiming to change your body, instead of having a negative sort of, I need to be skinny, skinny, skinnier sort of mindset, um, I think it's good to be aiming to be stronger and to build yourself in every way really, whether that's your mental health, whether that's your actual physical strength or anything, you should always aim to be a stronger version of yourself and a better version of yourself. And um, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I started going to this gym, I'd say, I think it's been five years now, so I'm 21 and I started going when I was 16 and um, I'm stronger than I've ever been and I'm happier than I've ever been. And I'm also in the best shape that I probably have ever been in. Um, having done all that to my body, I'm very lucky to be able to say I'm in the position now with no long lasting effects from what I did to myself. Um, so yeah, that was basically the whole video. I'm sorry it's kind of rushed towards the end, um, but I'm run running out of storage on this phone unfortunately, so I need to find an SD card or uh, a camera or something like that just so I can film a bit better. But yeah, I hope to see you in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye bye.